Hello everyone. Uh, so this is actually the lab experiment uh, which uh, actually calculate the fluid system uh, height of this tank uh, in the two way. The first way is uh, the, by using this equation which is a step input. If the input is a step input and the second is the impulse input. And the equation for that uh, both this one is a step and this is the impulse uh, i have here a selector or you can say toggle switch when it is down means that system will work in a step input if it is a up the system will work uh, in a step if it is a down then it will work in a step input okay so when when I, when I, uh, and this is actually fluid system at the head of the height of the uh, this tank will be shown here and also with the bar graph like this one okay and the system whenever you run this system the system will ask you to basic uh, maximum uh, head means the mas maximum height what should be the maximum limit uh, that the tank should fill and after that if the level is reached then the system should stop and the temperature what is the maximum allowable temperature the system should uh, can accept uh, the system will ask you in the first time, okay, whenever you run the program. This is the target time you can put here in the mint that how many times, how many mints you want the system to run it. If you want to run it for the one mint, you can put it one mint or two mint, whatsoever. And this is a reset. If you want to change the, this input, initial input, that what is the input magnitude in the initial height, resistance, and capacitance, you can put it here according to this uh, diagram, according to this equation. If the, if the condition met like that, that uh, tank uh, height is matched, the maximum height or temperature may, may, may uh, meet the maximum temperature, then the uh, alarm uh, warning will be shown here. This, uh, this LED will be highlighted. Okay, so let's check. I uh, just I put the random number here. Initial height, I let's say I start that. I say the system that is start from the zero height. I put the resistance, let's say six. This is just random number, okay. And capacitance, let's say four. And I run the program, okay. So I run the program, now it asks from the user that input temperature. Let's say I set the temperature uh, uh, 35 degrees centigrade and the, uh, in the input head, I say that the maximum, it, uh, the maximum limit is a 10. I tell him that uh, go to the maximum limit, let's say a nine. And the system back uh, backside coding is that such that the, if the uh, if the input head which is the um, seventy percent of the set limit, then the system will be giving the alarm or will be stop. Okay, now this is started. Sorry, what happened? Sorry, this is actually impulse. Okay, so in the impulse, it just gives the one time and the, the temperature and the head may reach to ten point two means the greater than the set limit, then it is stop okay if i give this step, uh, step again let's say i give you 36 and temperature uh, temperature 36 and height is 9 now see this is increasing and at is this 6.64 this is actually the 70 percent of the line which i said in the initial then the system give you uh, head is over or alarming or like that okay in the same way uh, and we have a thermal system. In a thermal system, we measure the temperature. It is the same pulse and the step input. If we put in this one, it has to be step. Let's say I give some random number six, capacitance five, uh, initial uh, temperature. Let's say I give two, and initial temperature, let's say I give three, and I run it. Give the temperature, let's say 25, that is, let's say eight. And okay. Now, so the temperature is increasing gradually from two to all. Okay. Okay. Condition is that if it if this program runs uh, one minutes, then it will automatically stop. The condition is that the four condition map that either the program run the specified the target time, let's say which I mentioned here, and then it will be stopped. If the, if the program will stop, if the condition met, uh, uh, temperature met the 70 uh, percent of the set temperature, then the system will stop. The third condition is that, <clears throat> that uh, if, if the user is uh, press the stop button, then it will be stopped. 
if any alarms comes here then the stop the four condition which was mentioned in the lab experiment so i don't have that picture here otherwise i would have shown to you okay let's it's working it is it's working by why it is stop because the time is gradually increasing so this equation becomes almost almost same now it's stop okay now it is stop so in this way you can check both impulse and step input of the system if you want to change anything uh, in the front panel so how can you do that let's say you want to change the color so you can go here uh, sorry tool plate you can check click any let's say any color okay now this is whole is to change okay uh, let's say if you want to click this one this is like change if you want this one so in this way you can change the uh, color of different things like that so here i hope you understand these things the coding is back side here you can see the complete coding of this one it is a nested cases okay if you need to know more about details of this things you can contact me for the details thank you very much and also here the temperature will be shown in this graph okay i hope you understand thank you for watching